What is up everyone and welcome back to the Crown Tundra. We've got another special episode today as we're going to be hunting down the legendary Swords of Justice, also known as the Three Musketeers, Cobalion, Verizion, and Terrakion. Originally from Pokemon Black and White, but here in Pokemon Sword and Shield's Crown Tundra, we can actually find some footprints scattered around, and this is just the little cutscene introducing them with our favorite Professor Sonia, and she claims that if we find enough footprints, she'll actually be able to track down the legendary beast for us. With this actually being the first footprint for the Iron Will Pokemon, Cobalion, and you basically need to find 50 footprints for each of them as each footprint gives you 2% for the data needed to track down these legendary Pokemon, and then you can go talk to Sonia and she'll let you know where they're at. And I gotta give a huge shout out to Karen, the editor for the second channel. She actually recorded the footage for this video, which is why we're playing as a completely different character. So there's three types of footprints for the three legendaries, and they can each be found in different areas. So first are the white-ish yellow footprints for Verizion, which can be mainly found in the grassland areas, like the giant's bed and the frost point field. We've got the brownish footprints for Terrakion, which can mainly be found in the various caves around the Crown Tundra, as well as near the Dynatree Hill. And the blue footprints for Cobalion, which can mainly be found in the icy areas and the caves nearby it. The one thing that you should know though, is that they're completely random. There's no like set location for where they're at. Unlike the Diglets back in the Isle of Armor, where they would always be in the same spot, these footprints can actually just spawn at random, so it can still be a little bit tedious. So we're going to be going after Verizion first, and as I mentioned, its footprints can be found in the grassy areas of the Crown Tundra. They can be a little bit hard to spot sometimes because it is in the grass of course, but in general I think the best way to go about finding the footprints is to stick around a certain area and eventually they'll actually start spawning around you. Another big brain tip is once you spot one footprint, usually more of them will spawn nearby it. So if you don't want to pull your hairs out waiting or you're confused or they're not spawning for you, I'd recommend just maybe getting into some wild battles. I mean, might as well try to complete the Crown Tundra decks while you're hunting these footprints down. Because basically spending more time in the area, uh, the more footprints will start spawning. Just keep running around, eventually you will find them. Like I said, you need 50 of them in order to hit that 100%. You can actually find more than 50 footprints technically, but once you hit that 50, no more will spawn, at least for that one Pokemon. Verizion is definitely the hardest one to find all the footprints for, so we might as well get that one out of the way first. I'd recommend heading to either the Giant's Bed, the Frost Point Field, and the Old Cemetery, and kind of just looping around those three areas. This should be enough data for us to pin down where it usually lives. And where could that be? Feed all this data into my trusty Pokemon Finder! What are you doing back there, Sonya? That's looking kinda sus. Searching for the energy! And I found a matching Pokemon! The Grasslands Pokemon can be found in the Giant's Bed! Which is again, probably the best place to find the footprints too. You'll finally come face to face with the legendary we've been searching for! So let's head on over there. Now once Sonia has tracked down the Pokemon, it will spawn in the area she mentions. I don't know if it's always in the exact same spot, but as you can see we are in the Giant's Bed, and Verizion has appeared! So let's take on our first Sword of Justice, the Grass and Fighting type. Not to be confused with the famous internet provider. If you need any tips for how to catch legendary Pokemon, I've actually already put out videos on how to get the Galarian legendary birds as well as the Regis. But basically you want to get their HP down to the red zone, maybe bring a Pokemon with Thunder Wave or Hypnosis, and start chucking away those balls until you finally catch it. Finally we've got Verizion added in the decks. It is going to be the Grassland Pokemon, a legend tells of this Pokemon working together with Cabalion and Terrakion to protect the Pokemon of the Unova region. And with that done, it's time to hunt down the other two Sword Boys. For Cabalion, I would definitely recommend checking out the Roaring Sea Caves, as many of those icy footprints will spawn in here, as well as I think it's called the Insular Sea or Icy Sea that 
this cave will actually lead you to. Basically, they'll spawn in any icy area, but they're definitely a lot harder to spot in the snow than they are here in the cave. So, if you wanna save yourself some time, save yourself some headache, definitely just head into the cave and it'll be a lot easier to find the footprints in here. And same as with Verizion, eventually footprints will just spawn out of nowhere if you keep running around. And if you still don't have enough, then head out here to the Frigid Sea and there should be plenty more footprints for ya. Just watch out for those feels. I've heard their bite is deadly. Deadly cute, that is. You can also search this island in the middle of the Frigid Sea. I actually managed to find a lot of the footprints spawning here for me. And this also happens to be where Cobalion itself will spawn once you've gathered all the footprints. Just make sure to talk to Sonia once again and she'll activate her trusty tracking device to make it appear in the Frigid Sea. Which means it's time to catch our second Sword of Justice and probably my favorite one. I don't know why, I guess I just like its design, but I believe it is a steel and fighting type. Of course, all of them are at least half fighting type with Terrakion, the final one, being the rock one. But, Cobalion here, steel and fighting, is going to be caught with the Dusk Ball. So, the Iron Will Pokemon, in a legend alongside the other two, fighting against humans in defense of the Unova region's Pokemon. Okay, that's basically the same description as Verizion. For Terrakion, we're gonna head over to the Balmir Lake. Otherwise known as the area with the giant tree where the Galarian legendary birds spawn. Also, it's probably best not to use the bike because it goes way too fast and it's sometimes a little bit hard to control precisely so you could just walk over the footprints on accident. You can also find them in the lakeside cave which is nearby and they're probably a lot easier to spot than they were back in the grassy area. Yeah, this is definitely going a lot smoother here in the cave, so again, you can keep running around this place and eventually footprints will also respawn if you don't want to deal with uh, having to look around on the grass because they can be kind of hard to spot sometimes, in the grass at least, or in the snow, so definitely stick to those caves and it should make tracking down the footprints a whole lot easier. So finally, we're going to turn in the data for Terrakion, search for those energy signatures and it will appear in the lakeside cave where we were just at. So let's head back into the secret tunnel and Terrakion should be spawning somewhere nearby. There you are, my man. You know what? I'm gonna change my favorite right now on the fly. Cobalion, you're donezo, bro. Terrakion is my new favorite, mainly because it's the only one that I actually have in Pokemon Go. We're gonna go for the Dusk Ball and catch it once again. He's actually in a cave, so the Dusk Ball technically works best either at nighttime or in caves, so definitely use those on him. So let's report our findings back to Sonia now that we've got the three legendary Musketeers. I was right! Okay, calm down now. I knew it! I knew my theory was right! Sorry, please don't mind me. I just got a bit too excited there. Yeah, you don't say. You definitely deserve a reward for showing me such a fine legendary Pokemon. Just one? Well, we got 10 XP candies, but they're small. Why the heck, why do I need small candies for? Give me something bigger. Yeah, bigger like Terrakion, exactly. Bang up job. Ah, oh, sugar. Take this for showing me the medium sized boy. We get medium sized candy. Does that mean we actually get large candy for Verizion? Why does he get a whole special cutscene here? We did it! This is just amazing! Who's the greatest professor in Galar now? I don't know, is Kakui somewhere around here? Don't tell my gran I said that, would ya? XD. But I couldn't be happier about what we've done here. I hope you'll take this little reward. And we're gonna get 10 large EXP candies. That is anything but a little reward. Thanks to you, I was able to prove my theory correct! Thank you so much! You'd make a first-rate assistant for my work if you weren't already the champion. Champion's life will keep you busy. I don't know if I can take that up, Sonia, but I know this little dude, Hop, who I'm sure would be eager to hop into the professor business. They wage battle against humans bent on destruction. And ever since then, they've kept themselves apart from humanity. Okay, you know what we're really waiting for here. How do we get ourselves the Keldeo? That's 
the horse that I care the most about. My little pony, my little Keldeo. Now then, enough dithering about, I've gotta get back home. See you around, don't catch cold in this freezing place, and have fun with your own adventures! I guess Sonia's not actually gonna tell us anything about Keldeo then. Oh well. Go on then, Yampa! Unless you're about to turn into Keldeo somehow. No? Okay then. Off on more adventures we go to find little Keldeo, the final member of the Swords of Justice. And it is actually here in Ballon Lake, or whatever the heck this is called. What is this little pink thing? Pokemon evidence unlike you, any you found before. I don't even know how I noticed that, to be honest. Is it a footprint? Kind of looks like some leftover food or something, but... Verizion, you sure you're gonna be okay traversing the little lake here? Because Keldeo can actually be found on this little island over here. And the way you encounter it... Well, first of all, of course, you need to have caught the other three Swords of Justice first, but uh, while on stream last night, I noticed a peculiar little cooking pot here. And these footprints definitely weren't there before. But now that we've got the three Swords of Justice, or I guess now that we've caught them, uh, those will appear. But no Pokemon yet, so the little pot is actually your hint as to how you're supposed to summon it. And that is by cooking up some curry in the Pokemon camp. So let's set that up real quick. As you can see, I got the three Swords of Justice. Or maybe just two. Oh my goodness. That is not your best angle there, Terrakion. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and cook up some nice, yummy deliciousness. It can be any dish, literally anything, but I might as well cook up something good if we want to get the legendary Keldeo to show up. Or how about some instant noodles? I feel like Keldeo would dig that, you know? He's a young guy, maybe going through some tough times. Uh, I'm sure we've all been there just eating ramen noodles when you got nothing else. But we're gonna go ahead and put in some of the rarer berries and I guess some less rare ones in there too. Start fanning the flames! <laughs> it's been a while since we've done this actually. Oh, Cobalion's loving it, man. We're not going fast enough! What is happening? We need to make the flame bigger, dude! No! Come on! Ah, oh, there we go! That's still not as big as it can go, though. And if we want to get the Charizard class curry... Well, we totally failed, but... That's fine. Like I said, any dish will make Keldeo appear. And for this step, you just want to go at... A fast pace, but not too fast that the curry will spill. And you can tell if you're doing it right from how many stars are popping up in the pot. So, I think we're actually going to make a pretty decent one here. Finally, gotta put your heart into it. Not that it really matters, I mean, it's food. You know what really matters is them ingredients. And I guess maybe the cooking time. But, here we are. Swords of Justice, enjoy some instant noodle! <laughs> so weird that we're feeding this to our horses, but whatever. I'm sure Verizion will love it. Ooh, there we go. That should be a nice, not even Copperaja class. Wow. It's a good thing it doesn't matter how good or bad the curry is, huh? But, I believe that should be it. Not like I'm seeing Keldeo anywhere, though. I swear it's supposed to show up now. Well, mission failed, I guess. <laughs> Oh wait! There it is! My little Keldeo! My little Keldeo! I guess we should probably save the game just in case I somehow mess this up. As this is of course the final legendary for this special episode. And we're gonna run right into it in its resolute form too. So it's got that unicorn horn and the little feathers in its head. Very cute. But, uh... Could actually just go for the Master Ball on it. Okay, I mean, we do have some Dust Balls, so we might as well at least try to catch it. As Keldeo is, of course, a Fighting and Water type. I'm kind of scared that we'd accidentally kill it with Leaf Blades, so I'm gonna go for the Sacred Sword instead. Which is the signature move of all of the Swords of Justice. Oh wait, I spoke too soon, because Keldeo's actually got Secret Sword, which is a little bit different. I forgot exactly how it works, but I think it does damage based off of your special defense instead of 
defense or something like that. I don't remember. Maybe that's actually Sacred Sword after all, but uh, we couldn't quite get it into the red HP zone. So I'm going to switch over to Cobalion now. Even though Keldeo did set up a Swords Dance. So if it goes for Secret Sword right now, we are totally dead. Oh yeah, we're so screwed, man. Oh wait, Cobalion can actually take it. Okay. And I did actually teach him Thunder Wave, as you can see. But I'm not sure that we're going to be faster here. Hopefully we are, because that would definitely help us to catch it. Oh, of course not. Well, well, well. Guess we're going to have to catch this one the good old-fashioned way. With no Thunder Waves and not even red HP. Oh my god. I accidentally ran away for some reason, but thankfully Keldeo did not agree with us. Because I don't know if we actually could even encounter it again. But I think most legendaries now in the newer generations, if you accidentally run away, you can actually just encounter it again. But this is looking real rough, man. I wanted to go for a regular Dusk Ball, but we're backed into a corner. And I want to secure this little Keldeo. So I think Verizion can at least take one more hit. Who knows, maybe the Dusk Ball works out. Of course not. And are we still alive? Oh my gosh, 6 HP! Okay, we got no other choice, man. Second Master Ball is gonna go to Keldeo. Is this Karen approved? Who knows? It's too late now. We got the little pony! I mean, we could always just reset the game too and catch it later on or try again. But just for the video, we've got it in the decks. And I feel like I used to have a nickname I would always give to Keldeo, but it's not coming to mind right now. Let me know in the comments if you remember. So we're just going to go ahead and add him to the party. What the heck? Why did it not show his like Pokedex entry? Is he not officially part of the Crown Tundra decks or what? I'm pretty sure he is. What? He's not. Well, we might not be able to see it in the Pokedex, but let's at least check it out outside of battle. We got my little Keldeo. And that will actually wrap up this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed or if this helped you find the sacred swords of justice in your own game. And I will catch you in the next one. <laughs>